finally not gonna be stock anymore. Very excited about it. The main thing, honestly, that they don't show you, and this will be another video. I'm getting springs and spacers tomorrow, so that's gonna be a whole other vibe, but if you look up any picture of a C8 Corvette, they never show you the wheel gaps this big, which is kind of funny, actually, but these are the pieces that we're putting on. Those are the downpipes for the M3. Don't worry about that. But uh, we got a couple things right here. First, we'll call them modifications for the C8 Corvette. First thing, we're getting rid of the Z51 spoiler. I kind of wish it came in black. I would have kept it for longer, but it's not aggressive enough. So we got a big ass wing right here. I think from Corvette, if you option this wing, it's like seven, $800. If you buy it on eBay, it's 250 bucks chill we're gonna put a new more aggressive front lip on her which it looks pretty good right now i think this is like the z51 package or whatever so you get this extra little black bar but i want it to be even better shout out to the people over at extreme online store it's my first ever corvette sponsorship i'm hyped hopefully they can keep building the car with me but they sent over a spoiler they sent over this little bad boy a very nice carbon fiber front lip let's see if it's real carbon hang on oh that's real carbon, all right. She's light as fuck. Look at her. She's going to be looking crazy. So big shout out to Extreme Online Store. If you want to use my code, I get you like 5% off the entire website, whatever piece you want, which doesn't sound like a lot because on my other channel, I'm used to giving out like 20, 30% off. But if you're buying like these two pieces, you know, five, $600 or some shit, maybe you're buying a $1,000 piece, 5% off is a pretty big discount. And a minor thing that we're gonna be adding on is these floor mats. I got the same thing in my Beamer. I do not like cloth floor mats. Like I don't like carpet in my crib. I hate stepping on carpet with shoes and shit. It just really bothers me, especially how dirty it gets. So we got ourselves. Um, I mean, it comes with carpet normally. It's cool because it's got the blue accents and it's real awesome, but once we put the hard floor mats on there, it's, uh, you know, all weather floor mats or whatever. You can get them really cheap. It's like 50, 60 bucks on eBay. Or you can get these ones, which are like the official Corvette ones for like 150. For two floor mats, it's pretty OD. But I kind of wanted like the OEM-ness and like the, I don't know, fucking stupid. Honestly, a waste of money. I didn't get the OEM spoiler, but aftermarket. Whatever. It's cool, man. Um, normally, I would install these myself, but for some reason, the Corvette... Um, spoilers, you can usually just like lift the trunk and do it, but the end of the trunk right there. So you actually have to take this entire rear bumper off, uh, which is kind of annoying. It's possible without a lift. My homie has a lift, but he's out of town right now for a few days and I kind of just want to stick these on. So I'm going to go to a shop down the street real quick. Hopefully they can hook it up for a cheap price. It shouldn't be that difficult, but I do think you have to take off the front bumper for that one as well. So it's just, I don't know, a couple hour job saves me some time. I got shit to do today. So uh, let's get a cold start in actually. Hello? Maybe I have to actually start it from here, I don't know. We do have an exhaust coming as well. Obviously that's gonna be a whole other video. It sounds nice right now. I got the Z51 exhaust, extra money. It's dope. What the fuck, I got a lot of random shit in here. Oh, well. This doesn't fit in there. Uh, I'm actually really curious as to how I'm gonna get the spoiler. I definitely gotta take it out of the box. Um, yeah, let's figure it out. Oh wow, fits like perfectly in there. There's no way this is gonna fit in there, bro. I literally, I think I'm gonna have to hold it. I'm gonna have to like stick it out the window or something. It's only like 10 minutes away, we should be okay. Yeah, got the trusty M9 bayonet. Bro, CS2 just came out, isn't that hype? Counter-Strike is like, a top three game of all time for me. In terms of hours played, like I've definitely spent more time playing that shit than in cars in my life. Oh, okay, it comes in a few pieces. Okay, yeah, this shit's way too long, bro. Oh my goodness, that shit almost flew out the window. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> at the right spot nice little beamer i don't think it's an m5 but hey honda crv come on now look how filthy she is bro i gotta give her a good cleaning man i don't even know what that is trash on my whip it's almost like dusty bro this shit looks insane but hey 
The wing is on, and she is looking 10 times better with that thing. I don't know if I like the exposed little bolts right here, but I mean, it does look insanely good. One thing though, is that it makes the visibility even worse. Like you really can't see shit out of this rear view, even if you have the little camera view turned on, but this just like cuts it right in half and <laughs> you can't see anything, but it's worth it because look, it just adds to the whole overall look of the car. Like I always think that the, the rear end of this car, while it does look really really good the front end just kills it like it's so sharp it's so mean it's so angled but this is like so blocky it's very chevy in the back you know which is nothing too wrong with it i guess but you can really see it it's just like a flat kind of it's just like a big bulk right here you know but this adds to it a little bit i approve i agree i like it look at this thing right here though not too low okay the springs are settling we will make a new video about that next but um i think it adds a whole lot of character to this front end especially this little like this almost looks like a huracan or some shit right here i'm not even gonna lie i'm not trying to boost the corvette too much or anything right I'm not saying it's lamborghini material but this whole this thing right here is sexy. It is strange that it's two pieces, I will say, because it starts like flowing in different directions right here, but it's solid, bro, it's solid. I've only scraped once and it ate it like nothing. I'm very happy with that. This little part's pretty sick too, that like sticks out a little bit, that curves, hugs the edge a little bit creates a nice little angle on it. I fucks. Those two things are very optional, personal taste kind of thing. You know, you don't really need to do them, but this third and last thing in this video is if you own a C8 Corvette, you absolutely 100% need this. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. You need these bad boys right here. Because for some reason, Chevy decided that that is enough protection for your radiator back there. Like the radiator's right there, bro. I can touch it. And if you can see, it's already got a couple of little like marks and stuff going and I haven't even hit the track yet. I only have like 2,500 miles. So you put 10,000 miles on this thing, those radiators might be shot, bro. And Chevy knows it too. They know it because if you can buy these OEM, you can buy these before you even buy the car. It's an option that's $400 as well as they sell this for 400 after the fact. But if you don't want to do either of those, then um, you can get something like this and it'll go, I mean like, come on, come on. Look at the look at the sizing difference right there. You got it. I will note though that if you are gonna track the car, that this does inhibit the airflow just a little bit, maybe even a lot of it. So certain companies, certain brands will sell like high airflow radiator guards. So that's a, like a recommend, right? It doesn't hurt the car at all, especially if you're not tracking it, and it can only help you. I mean, look, bro, this is ridiculous. A lot of companies will sell some for the side grills as well, but as you can see, those are like properly guarded right there. Like nothing really crazy is gonna happen, and it's the side of the car. So I mean, if you shoot a rock chip in there that's just super unlucky but right here man come on chevy i can stick my whole fucking hand in here so yes those are officially the first couple modifications i've done on the c8 like i said it has been lowered but we're waiting for the whole other video on that um new spacers as well because the ones i got aren't that good so that video is coming soon we got an exhaust on the way I don't know what else to do. There's not a lot of tunes on this car. And the next performance upgrade is like, yeah, you can get cold air intakes, it's like 1500 for like a few horsepower. But it seems like people just slap fucking turbos on this thing or they do some crazy shit or supercharge it or I don't know. I don't know how crazy we're gonna get with this car because I don't think I'm gonna have it for that long. Like we're probably gonna have it for like a year tops. Um, but we'll see, you know, we'll see. I uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have a C8, let me know if you've done any of these things or what else to do. If there's any recommendations or must haves, let me know. Look at the blue, bro. I can't get over the motherfucking blue. Uh, I love you guys so much. I will see you in the next video and stay safe on those roads, baby. Peace.